to export the results of our survey, under Analyze Results, go down to Exports. At the moment we have no data exported. Click on Export All and if we click on to export all individual responses, this will give us the individual responses in a PDF format. So we can see here is respondent number five, female from year one, and we can drop down and go to any individual respondent or we can scroll through the individual responses from each person. As well as seeing the responses, we see some metadata about how long they spent doing it and when they started and finished the survey. So here under exports and export all, if you click on all individual responses, it by default gives you the PDF option and you can choose the size. So I'm going to choose A4 and we're going to choose the current view or you can choose all views, for example, if you had a filter applied. Click export and it will generate this, which take, may take a few moments. Our file now has been exported and we can download the PDF. So click on it to download and when it's downloaded, we can just simply click on here to open it. So you can see we have it opened and each page, each survey will take one or more pages and start on a new page as per our decision. We can also export our data as an Excel file. So going back here and clicking on new export, in this case, we're going to uh, produce all response data. So this is the results uh, in a spreadsheet or in an SPSS file. So if we click on it here, we have a number of different options. So Excel um, or an SPSS file. For Excel, there are a number of different options here. It's useful to produce the condensed, which means that each variable or each question will have one column of data. And then the actual answer text will give us, for example, male and female, or we can get codes to represent those. So one might be male, two female. When we click on export, it will export the data. Again, it may take a couple of moments and then we can download it as a zip file with the Excel file there. That's it.